I'm going to show you the 12 top AI tools to increase productivity, boost your efficiency, and even increase your business's revenue. Let's do this. The first AI and a personal favorite of mine is called Tome.app. Now, just like most AIs out there, Tome is still in beta, but it's incredible, and here's why. Just tell Tome what type of pitch deck you'd like to create for your business or idea, and Tome will create magic. Not only will Tome generate headings and incredibly descriptive paragraphs, but it will also generate visuals to go along with the copy. So whether you sell pitch decks to business or you need one for your own business, Tome is the perfect tool to help you get started and crush that writer's block we all face. The second AI is called copy.ai and it's perfect for writing highly descriptive human sounding sales copy for products and services. I've said it multiple times and I'll continue to say it again. Having strong sales copy can be the difference of winning a long-term customer or completely losing the sale. Just give copy.ai a brief description of the product, what it is and what it can do and copy.ai will do all the rest. The next AI is called Astria. It's an art generation tool, but one I like to use for a very specific purpose. With Astria, we can train the AI on a very specific specific object and allow it to generate absolutely crazy shots. So in this scenario, they used a Mazda and the outcome is absolutely insane. It puts it in different environments, gives it different angles. We scroll down to a use case of a hat. So it basically takes the hat, you specify that you want it to be of the hat, and then it uses that hat to generate different styles and unique settings of context. There's a ton of stuff you can do with Astria. And the reason that I love it is because it's basically doing the same thing that Lenza does, where you choose your selfies to upload it and make a bunch of custom avatars. But of course you have to pay for those packages. If you come on to Astra, you can do it for absolutely free and tell it exactly what you want, whether it's a person, whether it's a hat, whether it's glasses, whether it's a car. Astra will take any image that you give it, train itself to create a ton of other images with the same items, just in different scenes with different concepts and even different people. The fourth and my personal favorite, ChatGPT. Now there's pretty much nothing ChatGPT can do, but here are some things that you probably didn't know that it can do. So ChatGPT can do a ton of things. And one of the coolest things that I think it could do is not only write code, but read code. So if you are having troubles and you need help with debugging, you can put all of your code into ChatGPT, tell it the function that you're trying to create. ChatGPT will then audit that code and tell you any errors there are so that you can then fix it. You can also have it code very specific functionality. So if you know you're coding in C++ or JavaScript or Python, and you have a very specific functionality that you're trying to achieve, you can tell ChatGPT what you're trying to do. And it will go ahead and search a bunch of repositories and basically write all the code like it's doing now. And even better, take it one step further and give you detailed instructions on how to implement that code. The fifth AI is called Quillbot, and it is a perfect companion to AIs like ChatGPT or copy.ai. The reason being is that Google can detect long form copies such as blog posts, newsletters, and articles written by AI. As such, it can actually hurt your website's SEO because while the content may be high quality, it doesn't seem organic to Google. Just take whatever you want from ChatGPT and paste it into Quillbot. So let's use a live example. Let's tell ChatGPT to write a blog post on how AI is gonna shape the future. Okay, so ChatGPT has written me a wonderfully detailed blog post on how AI will shape the future. Now let's put it into an AI content detection. Hector. Okay, so according to this, it is only 59% human generated content, meaning at least 41% of the text has been generated by AI. And according to Google, that will hurt your SEO. So we're just going to paste the first two paragraphs into Quillbot, and then Quillbot will completely reword all of the copy while maintaining all of the key elements of the blog post. Okay, so it's rephrased a lot of this. Let's go ahead and take this and now put it back into the generator. Let's analyze the text. And obviously, I know I'm using less now, but you can see now it says 84%. Let's go ahead and take the first two paragraphs and this one that was not unchanged and put it into here and let's analyze the text and you can see quite a big jump 58%. So the larger the text, the bigger the percentages are going to move around. So using something like Quillbot is going to help a lot when it comes to making it sound more organic and human rather than just being produced 100% by AI. The sixth AI is called repurpose.io and it is perfect for video editors or content creators like myself. Simply put a video into repurpose like a YouTube video and let it reformat it for all of the other platforms that you'd like. In other words, save time and increase your overall output, which is especially helpful for video editors wanting to take on more clients or content creators wanting to save more time and money. The seventh AI is called Superhuman and was created to optimize your email while being the fastest email experience ever created. Their AI learns how you prioritize your emails and then quickly shows you the emails that are most important to you based on your own behavior. That way you never miss anything important again. Hopefully. A few amazing features that they have is a remind feature and also an undo send feature. Let's say you get an email, but it's not relevant until next week. Simply tell Superhuman to remind you in seven days and Superhuman will bump it back up to the top of your email as if it's fresh. Additionally, Superhuman provides an undo send feature, which could be particularly helpful in certain scenarios and situations. From realizing you made an error, forgetting to include an attachment, or going too far when you reminded Sally that she shouldn't have bought Bitcoin at 60K. The next AI that we're gonna look at and one that I've been using for the past five 
five months is called Midjourney. Out of all of the AIR generators, Midjourney is probably my favorite for a couple of key reasons. For one, the art it produces just seems to be unmatched with incredibly high quality images that looks like it came from a master artist. Second, it's very basic to use once you understand the prompts. Simply add the Midjourney bot to your Discord server and write a prompt using the slash imagine function. Once you get an understanding of how to create the styles you want, there's pretty much nothing you can't create. Now, the only downside to Midjourney is that you do have to pay a monthly fee. And I'll be honest, there are other AIs like Dali E, Stable Diffusion, or Astria, which we looked at earlier, which can provide similar results. Number nine is Jasper AI. I don't see this one talked about much, but Jasper is actually one of the largest, most well-rounded AIs out there. And they also raised over $150 million. Now I will say one of the biggest downfalls about Jasper is its monthly fee starting at $50 a month. But the thing is, it is a very well-rounded AI, as I mentioned before, and it can be used for pretty much anything, including AI generated art, email campaigns, social media ads, blog posts, newsletters, articles, you name it. It can even do SEO and optimize the copy on your website. Number 10 is a simple and easy one. It's called cleanup.pictures, and it basically allows you to remove objects from pictures easily and quickly without having to go into applications like Photoshop. So let's go ahead and try to put in a basic picture and see what we can remove. So let's say I want to remove this apple from the picture, and I also want to remove these glasses. Now, obviously, this is going to be a very easy one because it's on a white surface, but you get the idea. It basically just makes it look like these were never in the picture to begin with. Number 11 is Runway ML, which is basically like cleanup pictures mixed with Figma, but for videos. Some of the functionalities include selecting objects to replace their backgrounds or completely removing objects altogether from the backgrounds, like in this video here. Lastly, but not least, a platform that I love and have been using for the past five years now is finally implementing AI capability, which is only going to improve efficiency and make lives easier when using Notion. Number 12 is Notion.ai. Now keep in mind, all of the links will be in bio and some of them you do need invite links to get invited onto these platforms, which I have provided, but Notion is the only one that actually isn't out yet. So you will have to join the wait list. But to put it short and sweet, Notion is a productivity and organization platform. And now it's only going to get that much better implementing AI as it's going to be able to use what you're already writing and creating and just build on top of that, similar to using ChatGPT or even Tome.app with your pitch decks so that you have an idea of what you're trying to create. And the AI expands on that so you don't get caught up in a writer's block or staring at a blank screen. Notion's AI will assist in generating posts, brainstorming new ideas, fixing spelling and grammar, and translating in real time, and so much more. The faster you sign up to the waitlist link in my bio, the faster you'll be able to actually get onto the waitlist. Of all the AI tools out there, this is one I'm probably most excited for right next to GTP4. AI was made to create efficiency and elevate our ability to advance. Let me know what AI tools I missed in the comments below and what you guys are using AI for right now. If you enjoyed this video, send it to a friend or family member so they don't miss out. Drop a like and subscribe. Until next time, peace out.